you will need scissors, glue and sellotape, yellow paper 3 by 10 centimetres, red 10 centimetre square pieces and a strip of green paper. Take one of your squares of paper and fold it in half diagonally. Fold it in half again. And again, making sure you make the crease each time. And finally fold it one last time in half. Now take your scissors and you want to cut half a petal shape in an arc. And then cut the tip of the point off, just a very small amount. Unfold the flower and you want to go round each petal and fold it upwards so it opens up more like a flower. Now you're going to want to repeat this process three or four times depending on the number of layers you want in your flower. Now take your strip of yellow paper and fold it in half. Use your scissors and cut really small slits all the way along the open edge. Now we're going to make the stem, so roll your green piece of paper as tightly as you can into a really, really thin tube. Use glue to seal it. And if you want some additional support whilst the glue is drying, you could also try adding a little piece of sellotape. Now it's time to assemble your flower. Put glue along the top of your yellow piece of paper. And then we're going to want to roll this around the top of our stem. sealing this with sellotape just gave it a bit of extra support and it doesn't show in the final flower. And then you want to fluff the fronds out. Now you need to add each of your layers. I found putting a piece of glue around the middle of the hole just helped hold the flower together. Adjust each layer as you go just to make sure it looks as fab as possible. And there you have it, one finished flower.